Okay, so uh, here's the boat with the uh, keel replaced. You can see we've uh, we've primed with the metal prep. Um, set the boat back down, which was actually a lot more difficult than we thought. It was lining up the the keel and the boat. It's making sure that you know everything was was perfect. That you know the keel coming down the the boat and keel were perfectly in line. And what we ended up having to do is. Uh, we got the jacks, we ended up jacking this up, but as we jacked up this side of the boat, of uh, the trailer, you know, it would, it would move the boat off. So luckily with our chain falls, we could, you know, we could readjust uh, the boat by just pulling up one side or the other, and, and we could actually rock the boat back and forth. And uh, with a laser, we ended up coming down off the top, you know, and we brought the laser right down through the center, and we set the laser. We actually did it at night, so the laser was was really true and, and it's just a cheap laser that we have that uh, you know it's a Johnson laser but but um, it, it worked really well so we then uh, you know we had a gap of maybe uh, two inches above um, between the two we had set it down made sure everything was true brought it back up and then we put we were told not told but we were re we read that uh, they used eight tubes of the Sikaflex. So I'll show you what we used. We've used this product right here. So it's it's six Sikaflex uh, 291 LOT and it's long open time. So uh, and I've just read over and over again that that's that's a good that's the product to use. So as we put four, we ended up only using four tubes. We put four tubes on in uh, around every knot uh, basically just covered the whole base. Um, lowered it back down and then I went up inside and started bolting or tightening the, the nuts back up in the amount that came out I mean like you can still see here there's there's still a slight amount that that has been pushed out and this is two days later after we've done it and it's still you know it's still pliable it takes a full seven days for this to cure so uh, but what we've what we took out this is this is the amount that out of four tubes so we've probably taken out you know, oh, at, at least a tube and a half. Um, so there's there's three tubes still left in there, but quite a bit came up inside the boat as well. So, uh, you know, total there might be two tubes, but I would say four would be, you'd be comfortable with four to make sure you have full, good, complete coverage. So now at this point, we can remove the support, this support board that's holding, the, that was holding the keel in place. I'm gonna let this set up for a week, but I'll, we'll remove the board, finish grinding it all down, we can lift the boat, finish the undercarriage of the keel, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a rubber, uh, we have this rubber pad, I'm going to put the rubber pad down on there, put the rubber pad in the V-groove so when the boat sits back down, the, the iron is not sitting directly on top of more iron to, to rust again. So, um, yeah, basically... Uh, the keels down and in place. We we haven't cranked the bolts down super tight. We know we have a pretty good gasket in there, uh, but within in a week we're going to go through and we're going to pull them all down to 250 to 300 foot pounds of torque. So this week, what what we're going to do is we're going to finish sanding all the bottom paint off. So that's that, and then we're, we'll we'll finish the bottom, but we'll uh, we'll put that on on the next video. Okay.